Hey guys, Jenny Guns here, and I'm excited to bring you this video of how to keep your phone number forever, so to speak. And what I mean by that is, let's say you're changing phone plans, or something happens where you know your phone line's going to get canceled, and you know you're going to go to a different style of cell phone provider or how it's provided, like prepay or different plan. So I I wanted to make my phone number immortal if you will you know it can't get canceled it can't just get stripped away from me no matter what and I did some research about this and I got super lucky I never knew that Google Voice allows you to port phone numbers so immediately what I did was I got on the ball and went over to the website and ported my number from Verizon postpaid and the reason why I did that is to save my number it, uh, what I was gonna do is just save my number the one I've had for like 11 years. I just did not want to get all my business cards and yada, yada, yada. Everything's everything's there. And I like it. I like my number. It's so easy to remember and it sounds good telling somebody. I'm just, I like it's me. It's my number. It's just like my social security number, if you will. So I saved it to this in the thought of taking the number, saving it to Google Voice, and then well, like porting it over to Google Voice and then porting it over to my prepaid system I got. Uh, I was set up with the Verizon $45 a month for two gigs of data, unlimited text and calling. I thought that was pretty good. And I used my Note 3. I bought bought and paid for the phone like flat out off eBay. So it's, you know how Verizon phones are. Most of them are unlocked. Like you can use whatever in them for the most part. Well, at least iPhones when I was working at Apple. But the cool thing is I did all that. And instead of actually porting it over to the prepaid, I'm like, what if I lose this account? What if somehow this is compromised? What if what if my Verizon prepaid, you know, I, I just, for some reason, something happens and I lose my number again. Like, you know, I could lose it on a prepaid plan. I'm like, well, Google Voice has it where I set up this service for someone at Apple before when I was an iOS specialist. I set this up for somebody. And it's amazing that I did that because then that all came flooding back to me thinking, oh, yeah, that's right. I can just keep the number on Google Voice and then I can uh, just tie it into any phone. It doesn't matter what phone. Like if I go to get a new phone somewhere and get a new prepaid plan on any carrier, I, it doesn't matter what number they give me. I don't have to be sad or whatever. I just re-tie in Google Voice through the Google Voice app in the Android or iPhone I have and it will pretty much mask over with my number that I've always had. I'll never lose it, so to speak, unless you know we stop existing as, the, <laughs> as a human race. I'm just kidding. But that's pretty much it. So you go to google.com slash voice, or if you just want to Google it, you know, just Google voice and you'll see the link. You'll, you'll have to have a Google account, of course, like an email through Gmail, uh, Gmail, Google, whatever. And then you'll get this. Getting started. Please note that Google voice is only available in the United States. That's, that's another bummer about that. But uh, hey, there, there's probably workarounds out there. Uh, you will be required to verify an existing U.S. phone number to get a Google Voice number. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to show you that. I'm going to be showing you very minor things, or it's not going to be a great overview. But uh, go ahead and do that. Proceed. And then I want to use my mobile phone number. So I'm going to use an old number. I can't get this one now, unfortunately. The, the line was canceled uh, about half a year ago. And that's the thing. You can't have your line canceled. I just want to let you know that. Do not cancel your Verizon Sprint, AT&T, T-Mobile, whatever it is, postpaid plan, if you're going to prepaid to cut some costs and stuff like that, because prepaid plans are getting pretty good. The only downside is you have to buy your own phone. But that's not a big deal. If you don't mind being a couple generations or a generation behind, you can usually get stuff for two, 300 bucks off eBay. Do some combing around, you can find some really nice phones. So, port your mobile number to Google Voice. Here it is. You can get Google uh, Lite, but we're gonna port the number. It's going to go through this thing. Hey, it's 20 bucks. Yes, we know. Your mobile service or your mobile phone service plan will be terminated. We I we discussed that just a moment ago. It will turn your phone off. So, it'll cancel your plan. If you're on a contract and you port your number over, it's going to cost you most likely. So, we'll click that. And then it's saying pretty much Google Voice is not a mobile phone service provider. That's what the prepaid is. You know, you can activate anything with any number, but Google Voice will kind of mask over that and take control. And use your number it's great you can use uh, Google Hangouts dialer and you can dial on Wi-Fi on any phone as long as it's a smartphone and you have Wi-Fi you can make calls out uh, without even having service right now I don't even have credit on my Verizon plan all I'm doing right now is to save money since I'm working at home and I'm barely out of the house and anywhere I go has Wi-Fi I can just use my Google Hangouts and I'm able to make phone calls with the number that I ported over it's fantastic it's I 
gosh, it's great. And I noticed in the last month, I've noticed a lot of people doing this. I did it, and then afterwards, I'm not saying I started. I'm just saying it just is coincidental that uh, this information is out there and people are use, using it, which is pretty cool. So you click that. Yeah, yeah, we know. We know it fees and this. It's not a mobile phone provider, and and you'll lose you'll lose your account once you port over that number account or whatever. You may be unable to receive tech me text messages for up to three business days after the porting process is complete. On Verizon, it was as soon as the port went over, I was golden. Okay, we know that. Your Google Voice number will be replaced by the number you're porting. So it's going to replace the number. You'll get to keep it, I believe, 90 days if you already have a Google Voice number. You get to keep it 90 days and you will receive... Yeah, there it is. It will remain on your account for 90 days. You will be able to make it permanent for a one-time $20 fee. I understand the risks associated with porting my number at <laughs> Google Voice and want to continue with the porting process. Yes, yes, yes. So this is where I get stuck and I can't show you guys anymore. But anyways, if your phone line's still going, you know, just uh, it'll call the number and then you enter the thing and it will be verified. You'll be like, oh, sweet. And then you'll go into where it asks for your account, what kind of account number it is, if you have any passwords on the account, uh, the phone number, the address, the name on the account, all that stuff. You've got to fill that in. It's very easy if you have the information. If you don't, you can just Google how to get the information for that, or you can make a phone call, like, what is it, 611 from any carrier pretty much nowadays, or you can Google customer care for any carrier, and you'll get the number to call in and say, hey, what's my account number, and what's this, what's that? And a lot of you guys already know, you guys already know what your information is. So long story short, port your number over to Google Voice, 20 bucks if you're not going with their their set plan or their their built-in plan that runs off Sprint or whatever, and then you have your phone forever. It does not matter what phone you get technically, when, where, what number you get, what carrier. You can always just download the Google Voice app on your phone and tell it to make and receive calls through your number. And it works. It works great. You know how some of you using Verizon prepaid, it'll go, the time for this, uh, the time for this call is unlimited. That really annoyed the daylights out of me. But when I switched over to Google Voice, the um, it dials right out. Uh, there's no, the time for this call is blah, blah, blah. It doesn't do that. And also, when you go to leave a voicemail on the Google Voice number, there's no, press pound to leave a fax. If you'd like to blah, 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 you know that really annoying, it's like a home answering machine. It just goes, hey, this is Johnny Guns. Thanks for calling. I'm unavailable right now, blah, blah. And then leave a message after the tone. Beep. It's like that. That's how Google Voice is too. That's another nice thing. There's a lot of little things cut out of there that are kind of annoying. And um, yeah, you can do everything from the interface. Now guys, I would show you my Google Voice account and all this stuff in it, but there's just so much personal stuff going on right now. I just don't feel comfortable doing that. But just go to Google Voice, sign up for a number and try it out with the Google Hangouts app and the Google Voice and try texting people and it's great. You can make Wi-Fi calls. You can get any number like... Later on, I'll have a full tutorial, but I just want to show you this because I think it's valuable for you guys to know if you want to hang on to that number. And uh, it does cost 20 bucks. That's kind of the, you know, uh, it, that's kind of a chunker, if you will. It's like, oh, got to take the hit. But for someone like you and I that uh, really want to hang on to that number that we've had for a long time, it, this, is, this is the way to do it for sure. I just love how you can buy any phone you want. That's the only downside, again, to that is there's many others out there probably. There's there's uh, reviews out there, the good and the bad of Google Voice. You can go look those up. But the only downside uh, on top of some of the other things I stated that were as well is that uh, you have to buy your own phone. But hey, it, it saves you money in the long run. Like, you're not tied into, oh, get a new phone. You're on the next plan on AT&T. It's going to ramp up your bill like 40 extra bucks a month. Then before you know it, you're like, why is my phone bill $400 for three phones a month? Unlimited text data, this, that, whatever, 15, small, ah, I don't know, just drives me nuts. This cell phone stuff drives me out of my mind. So this is what I did. I switched to prepaid. I know what I'm paying each month. I don't go through, I'm actually very surprised. I had to try and eat up my two gigabyte plan. Even when I'm um, trying to get out of the house, trying to use it, uploading Instagram, uh, watching YouTube, I actually, it was, you know, pretty, pretty interesting I used to go through data like crazy. I used to go through like 10 gigs myself. But since I work at home now through high-speed internet, like super high-speed Fios internet, I barely touch my phone anymore data. So it's fantastic. Uh, get yourself any plan. Use Google Voice on it. You're golden. 
Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. See ya.